Now, a piece of artwork painted by Banksy on the wall of a house in Cheltenham has been vandalised. The piece, depicting men snooping on a phone box, appeared in April, three miles from the government listening post GCHQ. Earlier this week, it was announced a deal was almost complete to keep Spy Booth in the town after campaigners raised the money to buy it. Here's our correspondent, Andrew Plant. Cheltenham's Banksy eavesdropping on this telephone box. These undercover spies now covered up after an overnight attack. It's not funny, it's not clever, it's not, you know, I don't see why people have got to do this sort of thing really. People here had been proud of their Banksy and were angry this morning as news of the new graffiti got round. Oh, I'm gutted. How can, I just don't understand why people have to do this anymore. This is what it looked like in April. A few weeks after Spy Booth was painted, there was talk of selling it to a collector. But a local businessman pledged hundreds of thousands of pounds to save the piece. If this graffiti cannot be removed, are you still going to buy it? That's a very good question. It depends. It, it will be removed. In, in some format, it will be removed. Obviously, it's something that, that the people in this town love, and we have to get it restored. This is what people here are hoping might just save the Banksy. This is three layers of anti-graffiti paint, and that's a piece that was peeled off earlier. Now, if they're quick enough and they use the right chemicals, they might be able to take off that top layer of new graffiti and leave the Banksy intact. Banksy's have been defaced before. This one in Bristol was hit by blue paintballs. Some believe it's just part of the life cycle of street graffiti. For others, though, these Banksy's are precious and should be preserved. Andrew Plant, BBC News, in Cheltenham.